Here's an email. Is he lying or just afraid of commitment? Dear Neve and Cammy, hi, I'm Diamond. I'm a 23 year old Instagram model living in Miami. A year ago, I started talking with Steve. Steve is a big YouTuber. An Instagram model and a YouTuber. It sounds like the beginning of a joke. An Instagram model and a YouTuber walk into a bar. Can I get this drink right. for free? If I, if I post? post? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A year and a half ago, he posted on Instagram that he wanted people to text him. Thirsty. I was a huge fan, so I jumped at the chance, and I sent him a slightly scandalous picture. He didn't respond to my message that day, but six months later, he was blowing up my phone. We've been hot and heavy ever since. He's super hot, super manly, and everything I've been looking for. I love how sexy and fun we are together. But I don't love that Steve always seems too busy for me. He never video chats, and when he's been in my area, he's too busy to meet. Have I been tricked? Or is Steve just being true to his commitment phobic nature? I'm hoping you two can finally get him to see me face to face, Diamond. All right, let's text her. Hey, Diamond, it's me and Cammy. We are super hot social media influencers. Jump. We're talking about an Instagram model yeah. and a YouTuber yes. who haven't video chatted. What possible explanation could there be for the two of them to not have communicated? Right, that doesn't make sense. No, it doesn't. Oh, she said yes, heart eyes. Well, we have to take ourselves. We have to be like influencing. <laughs> Yay! Diamond. Hi, y'all. Wow, look at those claws. Let yes, me let me see. Nail check. Whoa. Oh, oh wait, butterflies? Yes. Yeah. Ooh, cute. Well, what's up? Are you in Miami? Yes, I live in Miami, Florida, but I'm from Ohio. So tell us a little bit more about you. I want to know everything. Uh, I'm an Instagram model, TikToker, and pop star, so that's like my income. Whoa. Who are your pop star inspirations? I'm Britney Spears, for sure. Um, I was at the front lines of all the Free Britney protests. I'm bringing back the old eras. I do have an album coming out. It's amazing. Really? I'm EBT Baby. That's my pop name. EBT Baby is your stage name. Yeah. Is that because you personally were on food stamps as a kid? Yeah, growing up, I grew up very, very poor. It's like, you know, kind of saying, look at me now. My first hit single was EBT Baby. And the lyrics, it's like EBT Baby, GB Lady. Could you feel good like gravy? Kind of saying like, hey, I went from EBT to GD. I own two businesses, you know, I do everything myself. Wow. You know, I try to be an inspiration for everyone that, you know, you could grow up with nothing. You can grow up in a ass environment and you can make something out of yourself. Okay, so you have a lot going on and somehow, some way, you're still finding time to talk to Steve. Yes. Basically, he's in like a group on YouTube, right? Who like is YouTubers. he? What group is this? Nelk Boys. Nelk Boys. Yeah. Like, they do a bunch of like tanks and stuff like that. Got it, okay. So let's go to their YouTube channel. They're verified. They oh, 6.6 .6 million? Yeah, they're celebrities. I'd watch their videos here and there. They're really funny. I've just always been a fan of them, and then Steve got introduced. And it was love at first sight. Wait, Steve, Steve will do it? Yeah. He's very sexy. You'll know it's him because of the muscles. 3.3 .3 million subscribers? Yeah. Just from, like, the YouTube videos. Me and Steve have so much in common. I'm like, wow, this is my soulmate. One day, they said that they come out with this fan club. All you got to do is text it. So I texted it. I sent, you know, a little titty pic to, you know, and I said, give this to Steve. And then... Um, you just sent a titty pic to a group text number? And you said, been send it to it. Steve. Shit, this is for Steve. But you can't forward a titty <laughs> pic. <laughs> How else was I supposed to reach him, you know? But then, like, I didn't get a response. So I was like, whatever. A couple months goes by, and then all of a sudden, I get a text saying, hey, this is Steve. Steve. And he started talking to me, texting me. Everything that he was saying sounded like something Steve will do it would say, to be honest. And I was still skeptical for a little while, but one day he said, I'm with the president. 
And I was like, just shut up. I literally look on Instagram and he's on Air Force One with Donald Trump. And he texted me before that was even posted on Instagram. Right. Hmm. And mind you, I follow Steve on all fronts. Right. There were so many things that he would say in the text messages that would add up. What do you guys talk about when you're not just talking about all the cool stuff he's doing? Steve's a freak. It gets real sexual. Okay, but you guys don't just talk about getting freaky, right? No, we have just like kind of like light, uh, lighthearted conversations. And like he's done a lot for me. Like my brother, he was in prison. He's wrote to my brother and he sent him commissary and everything. And like he's done wow. like really sweet things that he didn't have to do, you know? And it's like, why would some random person do this if it wasn't Steve Will do it, you know? Has he sent you money? No, but I, he asked if he could send me money once. But I was like, no, I'm not a gold digger, you know? But he has sent me lingerie. He sent me a signed T-shirt. Um, he sent me Uber Eats, too, a couple times. Huh. And the thing is, on the T-shirts and the lingerie, it came from a P.O. box in California. Huh. So he lives in California? He lives in L.A., but he is always in Miami. Always. There's been times where, according to Steve's Instagram story, we were five minutes away from each other. But every time I would say, hey, let's meet, he would come up with some excuse. And another thing is that I consistently message him on Instagram, but he said he can't interact with me on social media because of his management. That whole thing about I can't interact with you on social media because of my management is bull****. He said it's contracts. Well, wait a second. That doesn't explain why he can't just FaceTime with you on his phone, his right. personal phone. Have you guys even talked on the phone? Um, two weeks ago, when I was getting very sassy with him, when I let him know I'm going to throw into a catfish, I told him I am going to tell them all about you, they are experts, they know how to spot lies, they are going to figure this out. And he called me on the phone for about 30 seconds, and it definitely was Steve Will Do It's voice. It was definitely Steve's voice. What did he say? He was like, hey, sexy, like, and stuff like that, and then he just hung up, and then he said that the boys came in the room, like his homies. But has Steve ever said, I love you, I want to be with you, I want to be together? Yeah, all the time, like, I love you, baby, but we fight a lot, too. But it's always ends up like kisses and hugs virtually. <laughs> what are you fighting about? Um, he's always with other females. Are you seeing things on his Instagram and then being like, who the f is that that yeah. you're with? Yeah, I'm just aggravated. And he says it's a joke, it's a troll. He has an excuse for everything. I'm so confused and I'm so torn. Whether it's the real Steve or not, wouldn't you consider their sort of behavior and the way that they've treated you to somewhat warrant not wanting to pursue them anymore anyway? Um, well, I kind of like assholes, so like, I don't know. I, I don't mind that, you know? So you said that the conversations have gotten freaky deaky. Yeah. I send them pics all the time. Uh, well, show, bring us up, bring up your phone. I want to see their, your, not the your convos. OK, let me connect my phone. Oh, there you go. Our everyday combos are sweet. Like, how's your parents' house? Um, man, it's lit. I love my parents. Oh, man. Oh. oh, that's it? That That's what you're worried about showing us? No, there's other stuff. Oh. But, oh, this ah! is the one. Oh! This is one really sold. Why does he not have pants on in his car? Why is he fully nude in his car? <laughs> I don't know. He put his pants all the way down to his ankles. Your response was hilarious. It looked better in your Tesla. Because <gasps> it's a Ford. <sighs> I'm taking it off. It's too embarrassing. <laughs> you live in Miami. There must be lots of guys trying to date you. Have you just not talked to any guys since you started talking to Steve? My heart's not open to like kind of, you know, really getting in like an intimate relationship with somebody. This is taking a toll on my life emotionally because it's like, I'm looking to settle down. I'm looking to find the one. And it's like, you know, I think I found him, but it's also like, I don't even know who I'm really talking to at the end of the day. Is it someone on his team who knows so much about him? Is it him? I don't know. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not seeing Steve at the end of the tunnel. But here's the thing. Steve obviously has a verified Instagram account. Mm -hmm. We have verified Instagram accounts. If it's cool with you as part of our investigation for us to just reach out to Steve, is that okay if we do that? That's fine, because maybe since you're verified, he'll see it. Send us another email with all the info you have for Steve. Hopefully, we'll have some answers. All right, thank you. Later, D. Bye. Bye. Ooh. EBT baby out.
it's easy to come up with a million scenarios where this is not Steve. Mm -hmm. But to be fair, there are some things about it that are interesting. The fact that she's getting inside information before it seems to be posted anywhere. Yeah. The contact started because of a number that they posted. There's clearly a connection to the real guy. Could this be like a prank mm. video that they've been teeing up for months? <gasps> I do think it could be someone close to Steve will do it. We've never had two hopeful hook up. An identical twin. <gasps> Everybody in Hawaii is in on this. <gasps> That's insane. We've never seen anything like this. The catfish sent you the real guy's Facebook page. Come on!